and uh, now it's about uh, 8.33, uh, 8.33, uh, the same morning, and I've walked out uh, into the rain, out the front door, and I'm walking along the side of the house where we see that uh, there's a, a very significant amount of ponding of the water. What actually happened here is uh, it snowed. We had a couple of warm days. There was a certain amount of melt. That melt then froze, and there was this sort of uh, river of ice, as it were, uh, between the two houses, uh, which remained solid until this rainstorm also brought uh, temperatures above freezing. And so you have both the rain and the runoff from the melting snow and the melting ice all creating this uh, pond which is oh but two or three inches deep at this point I guess uh, right at this end and you can see there's quite a lot right here around this around this tree. It's wet ice, so it's very slippery. I've almost fallen twice. And uh, you can see that this ice is turning to solid slush. And you can see that there's plenty of water right there by the side of the house. And And you can also see that the water is trying to run this way and that we have uh, a little brook which is running, which is the runoff from uh, behind uh, all the buildings on this side and it's running down in a kind of torrent and here we are standing on the patio where there is, once again, pretty significant ponding. This is a picture of the corner where the water seems to be coming in. And there's a good two to three inches of water just sitting there and around on the other side there where we can see where it's coming in. Uh, we can see that there's uh, well, almost, uh, the water there is almost deep enough to uh, uh, come into my, my rubber shoes, the top of my rubber shoes, so I guess we must be looking at three and a half to four inches of water right there. Uh, and then if we head on down here, if we can make it. Where I'm headed is towards the drain. It's very slippery. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Yeah, there we go. We can see the drain up ahead. And that's where all this water is headed. You can see this grating where It all runs in. Now, I think the problem is that there are probably drains buried by the side of the building which have become clogged, and therefore, when the water collects between the two buildings, and since it's a downgrade, it would all collect against the foundation uh, of the north end of the foundation of this building instead of being drawn off by the drain and heading down to that main drain uh, which is also accessed by the grate uh, it just goes right down and ultimately the water table gets above uh, the joint between the foundation wall and the basement floor and comes in and uh, so I think probably it's a drainage issue that's causing the flooding in our basement and I think this is a good day to, to see how the water behaves. I don't know how well this is going to come up on video, but well enough to, to see, I hope.